Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to apologize for being gone for so long and I kind of just wanted to do an update video on what has transpired in my life in the last few weeks. Um, as a couple of you may know, I was in a car accident on the 1st of September. I was driving and I got hit. Um, it has been pretty rough and really emotional. Um, as you guys can see, I'm just going to address this right now. I am in a collar or a neck brace or whatever you want to call it um, because I was injured. Um, I am getting better, um, but I have been pretty dependent on this collar, so I'm going to have to kind of retrain myself off of it. But just going back to the update, um, it wasn't an accident on September 1st, it was a Saturday um, evening, and I was going to, it was kind of like a girls night out at one of my friend's house, and I was going over there to visit her on my way there. Um, luckily I wasn't too far away, um, I was literally down the street from my house um, when I got hit. And I'm still dealing with insurance company, but um, as far as my car, my car was completely totaled and they're not going to fix it. Um, they did give us um, a sum of money to fix it, but the money they gave us is not, from what they said, is not comparable to, um, does not compare to how much damage um, the car received. Now, I don't really want to talk too much about that, but... We all know how insurance companies are, we all know how people are, period. Everyone is trying to get theirs and kind of just leave other people. I do believe my car is fixable. I don't think it's damaged to the point where, I don't think it's $6,000 worth of damage, which is what they're saying, and they're only offering us like $4,500. Um, but that's neither here nor there. We'll get to that when we get to that phase of life. But I just wanted to apologize with you all because I know I have a Mac gift card giveaway to give out. And um, I haven't picked out a winner or anything. So no one has been contacted. Please don't worry. Don't think that you didn't win. I haven't even done that. Um, I just kind of wanted my own space for a little bit before I got back into the YouTube uh, world. Um, I have been watching YouTube videos and watching a lot of TV. Um really haven't been going out too much um but just to backtrack from that um september 1st was a saturday and labor day was monday i started student teaching on the tuesday the fourth so i got an accident saturday night i didn't really feel much but saturday morning i was in a lot of pain thank goodness my mother is a physical therapist um she has a doctorate in physical therapy she has her own clinic so she's pretty reputable and um she's basically been treating me but unfortunately or fortunately she traveled that first week um she saw me um i got an accident saturday she traveled um sunday evening so um she was able to leave me with some instructions on what to do as far as um she did have some muscle relaxants for me and some painkillers for me and then she got the collar for me and then i've been also using a lot of cold therapy and i have like a little um pain relieving gel that she gave me that she uses on her patients um so she was gone for a week she came back last sunday but besides that um she did leave me with instructions on how to take care of this i started student teaching with my collar because i'm trying to graduate this december i was in a lot of pain having to move around and stuff i did not drive um i'm actually really kind of scared to drive now but um I did not drive and so my dad was taking me to the school I was placed in. Um, some of you may or may not know I go to school in Chicago and I live in the Chicago suburbs. Not really Chicago, not in Chicago at all. My town is not Chicago. I live in like, my city is not Chicago but I live, you know, the little suburban towns that encircle Chicago um, south. And um, um, so I did the first week of school, which was like the CPS school. I was in a CPS public school, and which was their first week. Um, I don't know if you all know, but there was a strike, um, which is a good and a bad thing. Selfishly, it's a good thing in the sense that 
I was able to have a week to kind of recuperate some more. Um, but unselfishly, it's a horrible thing because my kids, especially in the school that I'm in, I'm in a low-income school, and I'm in a third-grade class with 31 students. I love them all. They made me cards, and they are already starting to get attached to me, and I was only there for four days because Labor Day was off, so I was only there really for a week with them, but they started to really um, attach themselves to me, and I, I them. And so um, they really do need that week that they are out of like today's Friday they're not in school today and I'm hoping that by Monday we can get back to school because not only does that affect them but it's also affecting me and my graduation and all of that jazz um, so um, even though they were on strike because my school does not want to jeopardize my certificate our certification for student teaching they held teacher development um, seminars every day and workshops every day so today I will be going to a workshop this evening though, so I kind of have the day off to kind of just lay down and just relax and watch YouTube. I literally just had my shower, it's like 2, 1.30 and um, I just got ready and everything. Um, so that's been happening and um, so I'm hoping the strike ends on Monday so I'll be back. Um, I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't have to wear this collar for so long but my mother told me that I need to be in this collar for 4 to 6 weeks. Uh, she did say some people were in college for eight weeks, but um, this past week I've been doing really, really good. I actually didn't feel anything until yesterday, um, Wednesday night. When I went to bed, I kept waking up. I was in a lot of pain, and then Thursday I was in a lot of pain. So I don't know because maybe because I felt like I was getting better. I was moving around a lot and doing a lot of things, carrying a lot of heavy things, and it kind of just strained it back again. And um, Right here is really, really, it was it was really swollen. It started to go down and now it kind of swelled back up. So, um, going through that. And, um, but yeah, that's pretty much, um, all that's been happening. And I have so many videos I wanted to do for you all. I wanted to do a summer tag video for you all. And summer is like over. <laughs> um, not technically over, but it will be really soon. And then I wanted to do, I have been collecting empties. For a very long time. Um, I haven't really been going out like that. As far as shopping. I think I went out once to the store. And that's because my brother wanted to go to the craft store. To grab some things. And I just kind of wanted to get out the house. And I went with him. I had my collar on of course. I have my collar on 24-7 and I sleep with it. I don't shower with it. That's the only time I don't have it on. When I'm showering. And of course when I'm like, lotioning up and stuff. I don't have it on. So I think that also contributed with the flare-ups because I was moving around a lot. I was in the store. I was carrying things. Um, I purchased a couple of just um, things that I needed um, for Sunday school and because um, I am the Sunday school teacher. And I purchased some stuff that I just needed for my room or whatever. Um, uh, I placed a couple orders online. So I, uh, just a few. I placed an order for Makeup Mania before September was even here like at the end of August and I received it at the end of August um I had a oh look Urban Decay haul that was like a month ago <laughs> I've had it sitting there and I and then I placed like, a MAC uh, order and a YSL order while I was just in bed because I was bored and I kind of just wanted a little bit of a pick me up so those came in uh MAC and a Sephora haul yeah so, I mean, if you guys want to see those items, um, I'll do a haul video, but I'm still trying to wait to kind of get out of this collar. Uh, it's awkward me showing you things with this collar, but um, I think I'm going to film the empties video right after this. At least do that, so that would be up. But, um, I don't know, it just depends on how I feel after uploading this video. If I, after looking at this video and seeing how ridiculous I look, if I look too ridiculous, I'll just wait, um, but I, I'm letting you know that um, it is going to be a couple more weeks. Um, I will start being weaned off of the collar three weeks, which would be next week. So my mother said I will sleep without it, and when I come home, I could take it well, off. Apparently, while my I'm video out. cut off. I don't know when it cut off, but um, I do want to say that you know this month has been really hard for me, and you know it started off with the accident, and then. The strike came along, and then I'm also having some graduation paperwork issues. So, you know, this month, you know, like, we all have that time in our life where it just feels like everything is just...
going downhill but I'm really positive that everything will work out in due time and it, it will take time and it'll take me being patient and it'll take me um, learning what I need to learn from all of this experiences because everything definitely um, is teaching me something um, about myself and so um, but I'm, I'm positive that it will work out the way it needs to work out um, I wanted to say a couple more things. Okay, if, regarding the giveaway, I will announce the winner. I just want you all to give me some time. Um, like I said, I haven't even picked the winner. But I will put into count the people that were, um, that, um, entered during a time frame. So if people entered after that, they're not going to win. So don't worry about that. Um, also... Uh, what else did I want to say? Well, I don't know anymore. <laughs> but, um, because I said a lot, I don't know when the video cut off. I will know once I edit. But I definitely want to thank you all for just hanging there. And, um, hopefully everyone watched this video so you know what's going on. And so that you're not thinking that I just disappeared off the face of the earth. And, you know, didn't want to do the giveaway. And which is not true. I have not picked a winner yet, so don't feel like, don't feel discouraged. So basically what I'm trying to tell you. Um, but yeah, so that's it, and I'll see you all in a later video.